critter hunter. All right, so a while back, I posted a video about the blue ribbon eel that I found in Antelao. And, or was it Antelao? Somewhere in the Philippines. And anyways, and today I thought, you know what? I'm going to show you my black ribbon eels that I found as well. So, ribbon eels are super rare. It's my favorite moray eel. And when I finally found them, I was just so stoked. But for some reason, black fish, like a black moray, a black frogfish, whatever it is, they just never come out. You can't see the detail. Kind of like the blue moray, it's just perfect detail. I can see every line, every feature. But black ones, they just never come out. You can tell what it is, but it's just never great footage. So I haven't showed you guys the black ribbon eels. But today, I'm just going to show you anyway. I think it's awesome footage. This isn't National Geographic or Blue Planet. This is just one man's journey to find and film awesome critters around the world, as well as teaching himself better videography. So I think you'll understand when well, this isn't amazing footage, and you might also appreciate how cool these critters are. So let's get into it. Here is some black mores from the Philippines. So this is the black moray, of course. And I think I mentioned before, but they're definitely my favorite moray species. And there's a lot of species out there. So as for mores, these guys are actually really unique. There's a lot of things about them that only happen to ribbon eels. The first thing that stands out is that they're the only moray species that are protentric. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Protentric. Uh, which means they can change from male to female. All ribbon eel species are born male and black. So a lot of people think there are multiple mores because you can find blue, yellow, white, black. But they're actually all the same. They just change colors as they change sex. So like I said, all ribbon eels are born black. And then if there's too many males in one area, a few of them will actually morph into a female, will mate, lay eggs, and then die within about a month of their f sex change. The black ribbon eels are pretty hard to find. You can only find them in a handful of countries, so of course they're on my list. But then some of the black males turn blue, uh, so they're even more rare than the black ones and I made a video of the blue one that I finally found you can watch that but so the blue ones are a little more rare than the black and then when they turn female they morph into a yellow color which are even more rare than the blue and they're also more rare because they only live about a month when they change sexes so like I said these guys are really hard to find but the black ones are at least the easiest ones to find um, but I've still I have about 1200 dives and I've only seen about four or five black ones and only about two or three blue ones and I still never seen the yellow females or the white albino ones that are being reported in Indonesia but doing research for this video I found out that the biggest threat to ribbon eels are the aquarium trade which is really sad because my countrymen and Europeans are the biggest consumers of aquarium fish and I just wish there were more breeders out there that or maybe they're hard to breed in captivity I don't know but I hate when a rare and threatened species is taken from the wild and shipped across the world and put into tanks for our entertainment these guys can live up to 20 years in the wild but usually when they're taken out of the environment for the aquarium trade, they usually average a year or less. And for doing research for this video, all I could really find was articles from 
aquarium websites, not scuba diving or things like that. And that's kind of why I do what I do, because I want to show a lot of awesome species in the wild, in their natural habitats, and I want people to have more insight than what they would get just looking at something in a cage or an aquarium. I don't have a problem with the aquarium trade, but I just wish that there were more breeding programs and that would actually help the species instead of hurting it. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I got videos coming out every couple days and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Subscribe!